our Isha Fernandez. Well, in today's episode of Gems of Goa, we have a personality who uh, doesn't need any introduction. Uh, she's someone who we have been chasing right from our first episode. And <laughs> <laughs> have her on our show. And finally, it is today that we have her on our show and we are so honored to have you with us. Uh, we have with us Sonia Sirsat, international fadista. Welcome to the show, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. And yes, it's been a long time of a lot of chasing we have done. <laughs> Finally, so tell us how is your lockdown going on? Um, it's I'm I'm sort of getting used to it now actually. Yeah, um, it is, but it's it's okay. You, you've been traveling always, and you've been like always on the move. So it's like yes. maybe something like uh, much more affecting you as a person. Uh, um, it it's affecting everybody. But yes, me, I had to cancel quite a few of my trips, and uh, I was I was supposed to be in and out of the country from March till August. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so I'm in and out from the kitchen to the bedroom to the hall. <laughs> but <laughs> that's uh, exactly, that's a lockdown. But otherwise, it's okay. I'm I'm home. I've got I'm staying with my parents, so uh, family is close, and um, lots of work in the house, mm-hmm. and. Um, one of our maids went back to jharkhand so so yeah. she's uh, home with her family and uh, and all of a sudden the other one quit so there's a lot of scrubbing and rubbing also happening in the house i uh, think yeah. like the next question was supposed to be that like so what are the things that you have been doing at home now that you are at home finally after such a long time <laughs> you will you will laugh <laughs> i you... have become i've become an expert in cooking <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah, I used to. I always loved cooking, so there was no problem. But a lot of traditional dishes I never tried earlier. Mm-hmm. I used to do a lot of baking. I used to do a lot of uh, Chinese stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I've gone to the basic pulao and the basic um, uh, grams yeah, and you know the shakti. Yeah, the local stuff. Yeah, the fish curries. Yeah. How is the feedback at home? Like you know, when you see a different side of you right now, looking at. the way how you're cooking and you're doing something else all together at home what is the feedback like my mother <laughs> is happy to see me at home but she also feels sad <laughs> because what? sometimes i really get exhausted <laughs> <laughs> i think it's happening okay. with everybody. yeah it's happening with everybody the phase is only something which we have not expected yeah i know i think you know it's a way of um, uh, it's a way for all of us to really understand uh certain things that we've taken always for granted certain things that we might not value and think that they're not important but actually those things are more important than everything else that we've been running after so indeed. like there's a lot of um, revelation happening during lockdown indeed and also i think uh because of the digital media and uh, because of the online presence we have seen recently that you've been very active on your youtube channel which you have started yeah. So right. I think it was there all these years, but only thing it was not very much uh, like frequently updated. So True. right now, that is happening. So tell yeah. us about that. Um, well, the latest was today, and um, uh, we are celebrating the birth centenary of Amalia Rodriguez, who is the diva and the queen of Pardo exactly. of all all time, and um, so what I did is with this restrictions of the lockdown. plus mm-hmm. the previous weekend that we were all locked up uh it was a little difficult but we managed to shoot a video um i had a music track that um i had recorded in portugal and it was again lying with me for a long time so i incorporated uh, bansuri the indian flute into that and um, we shot a video at home because we couldn't go out it was just me and the camera person so frankie fernandez did an excellent job and uh, and the video is out and it was um, released today uh, midnight portugal because amalia was born in portugal and so midnight their time would be her actual birthday uh, oh. so yeah so that's uh, that's a tribute from goa uh, because um, it, being a birth centenary uh, there are a lot of things being done all over the world uh, of course in portugal for sure but even yeah. france is releasing a, a series of um, I think five uh, compact discs, five CDs of her recordings. So when she was performing live in in Paris, so there are oh, wow. five, yeah. 
So France is doing that, and I'm sure in other places it's been, you know, something or the other is being done for Amalia. Books have been written. So I thought there should be something from Goa because we have a Fadu following here. We have exactly. people singing Fadu here. So, you know, there has to be something from this side of the world. But given this whole situation and given the restrictions, plus the monsoons, uh, yeah. it was a little difficult to do something on a, on a larger scale and, you know, a different way that we might have wanted. So this was the quick quick fix and the easiest <laughs> way. And I think it's turned out quite well. It's getting a lot of uh, good reviews from everywhere. We have, we have seen it personally, so it's really amazing. And we're so glad that uh, we get to uh, have you right now talking to us as today is the day when you have done it, uh, released it already. Yeah. So, yes, also I wanted to ask you, like, uh, what were the challenges maybe that you faced, uh, be it maybe you're putting up a video right now on YouTube, because your YouTube is being much more active now. So, have you, do you all plan something, or uh, is it like, you know, that you all have over a period of time conceptualized and, you know, it's scheduled already and it's gone? Oh, it's like a regular process. Um, well, with this particular video, I'll, I'll be very frank. It, we, uh, we started, we planned, we started, we uh, edited. The, the audio was edited and everything was done in about a week. So, okay. yeah, in a week's time. So the concept, the, 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 the shooting, the, the, um, my voice and the guitars were already recorded, but mm -hmm. uh, needed to incorporate the flute. So the flute was recorded. Naresh Margaonkar plays the flute. So he recorded it in Mapsa, sent us the files, and I had to send everything to Guwahati, Assam, because uh, the mix and mastering was done by E.R. Vinay, who's, who's at the moment in Guwahati, uh, enjoying mm -hmm. life with his twin baby girls, yeah, <laughs> locked up at home again. <laughs> so he did that and he sent it. So, yeah, so, so there were a lot of things to coordinate at the same time, but everybody sitting at home and, and working. So there are restrictions, but even with these restrictions, I think we can come up with something, something good. Indeed, indeed. Well, on that note, what we're going to do is we're going to slip into a short break. On the other side, we're going to have, we are going to have Sonia and we're going to speak to a lot of things on the other side of this break. Stay tuned. This is InfoMedia Prime Slot Network and you're watching Prime, your voice, your channel. Conversation with uh, Sonia Sarsad. So now that uh, you are already 20 years in this industry, first of all, congratulations! You complete 20 years this year. So tell us what has changed over the years as a person, as an artist. What exactly has changed? Um, it's been a nice journey. I don't know what has changed, but it's been a nice journey. Uh, I've met lovely musicians. I've worked with very nice uh, human beings, uh, extremely good talent, of course. Um, I've learned um, at every step, uh, whether it is um, things to do with music, things to do with life. And um, I just have been blessed to always be surrounded by lovely people. Um, events, organizers, programs as well. So I think it's a nice learning process. It's been a good, um, it's been like a, an education by itself um, in a different way and a very pleasant one. Yes, indeed. So if you go to see your journey back then and now, there has been a huge transformation, be it in your, the industry, be it in the talent that is coming up right now. So uh, when you joined it, uh, the, maybe it wasn't that uh, the way how it is done now. There is a huge change in this. So, and you have played a very crucial role in this. Be it your project of uh, Faro de Goa, I think that is something which changed the full concept of it in Goa, which has added on, which has taken it to a different level. So, how did you come up with the particular concept? Um, so, Faro de Goa is basically a, a program by which we teach Faro. Uh, we mm -hmm. teach our students to sing the fadu, we teach them about the fadu. We've done five batches till now. It's over 400 students. And um, Fadu the Goa, this concept came about post another project called Fadu in the City. So uh, Fadu in the City actually, um, uh, I mean, was conceptualized because ever since 2003 that I've been singing the fadu, um, I found that a lot of our audience was repetitive. 
a lot of our audience was also disappearing because most of them were senior citizens and they were passing on so it sort of uh, dawned upon me that in some time we're not going to have an audience for father in goa and who's going to carry this forward who is there's been father in goa for such a long time so why should it just disappear for no reason or without an effort so we that was the idea of father in the city and um, also we try, we would try to break certain barriers and certain misconceptions that we have uh, to appreciate father you have to know portuguese to appreciate father your family has to speak portuguese nothing like that if you can appreciate arabic music and african music i i don't think all of us speak those languages but we enjoy that music don't we so why not the same thing with father right. music and, uh, is a universal language exactly and it's a universal language it speaks all languages it it it, uh, it touches hearts all over the world so you don't really uh, need to know uh, portuguese of course if you do it it adds quite a bit i i'm don't deny that father in the city actually uh, got us to uh, to the point where we were breaking barriers we were taking father to uh, audiences that had not heard the father before and we were also breaking these misconceptions of you know um that fathers only for people who speak portuguese or only for people who come from families that speak portuguese which is not the case if you listen to arabic music and you're listening to african music and you uh, you know you have them on your uh, playlists that doesn't necessarily mean that you speak all those languages so it was as simple as that and it worked well we had a good response now from there came about the idea of having classes of father because there was so much of an interest from Uh, newcomers people who had never heard the father before they wanted to learn more about the father and that's how father of goa was conceptualized and today we have so many students and all of them uh, know about the father a lot of them sing the father many of them participate in the father competition some of them sing father in their colleges and their schools at uh, functions and family functions at clubs that you know it's so um, it's it's so gratifying to see uh, the students doing all of this so uh, this whole experience we've put together and it's picked up well it's uh, it's been written about very well as well in from different um, parts of the yeah, world we've had audience to, yes so people are just like trying to uh, understand this new concept which have been done and initially maybe you must have uh, people may not, may not have been that enthusiastic but today they have their own audience over a period of time they grew with you so when you look back right now uh, you are also a professor in law college. so when you were a teacher then and of a law and now you are a teacher of father so what uh, what exactly you enjoy the most basically <laughs> which one do you enjoy the most i enjoy both because what i enjoy is teaching <laughs> uh yes i do miss law i miss my law college because i was a student of that college um through my graduation and my masters and then i taught there for four years so i do miss the law uh, college but uh, teaching father is also teaching and it's um, equally gratifying because some of our students in father are much older to me they're my parents age then there are children who are little ones and you know 10 12 years old so it's a, it's a nice mix yeah and it is challenging because sometimes you have to teach um something a concept and you have to you have to go on to the wavelength of a, a 10 year old and an 8 year old as well at the same time <laughs> oh yes that's so so true yeah. so also uh, one one more another major thing what i wanted to ask you was that you've traveled uh, to various countries now which one would you consider as your memorable moment so far um there were many memorable moments but the first initial ones are those that really stay with you so i remember in 2008 um i had uh, gone to portugal for two months september and october and uh, i had my debut solo concert of my life wow. um, and it had it happened to be in lisbon it was not even in goa it was in lisbon and the concert was concert was really good and it was uh, well received uh, the tickets were sold out and um, um it was uh, it was something very um, i didn't expect because i was new to the fav myself and nobody in portugal knew me i was new in lisbon so that was a very um, it was like a turning point in my life in my career and uh, that but apart from that 
uh, I came back from Portugal at the end of October and we then went to Macau in the first week of November. And I didn't realize that whatever had been done and whatever had been printed and whatever had been covered in Portugal had already reached Macau through the oh. media. So when we arrived in the airport, now I was going with a group and actually it was the group that was invited and uh, they requested me to sing. So I joined them and we went. It was Try Orlando and I joined them. And um, I was, it was nice. It's a very nice group and uh, enjoy performing with. Um, so when we reached Macau, um, I was surprised because at the airport, there was a huge bouquet waiting for me. Oh, when, wow. actually, when actually I was just going along with the group and I was going to be singing with them. So I was quite zapped because, you know, of course, uh, they were more tech savvy than I was. I didn't realize that all the... Uh, leading newspapers that had covered my Portuguese uh, concert in Lisbon, um, Portuguese newspapers uh, had already, the digital form had already reached Macau. And so I remember that. I remember getting down an escalator and there was this reception group that was waiting for us with a bouquet. So I thought the bouquet would go to the, the trio and no, it came to me. So I wasn't <laughs> sure whether they gave it to me because I was the only lady. But no, it was because of what all they had read and uh, yeah. And the noise that had reached Macau already. So it's certain cute moments. Yeah, cute moments. There's so many, so many of them. Well, well this is indeed very special, which you shared with us. Uh, we are going to take another short break. On the other side, we're going to have the rapid fire round. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Info Media Prime Slot Network. And you're watching Prime. Your voice, your channel. Welcome back. I have with me Sonia Sultan. So now we are going to rush into what is called the rapid fire round. So uh, Sonia, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Brace yourself as we begin the rapid fire round. So uh, very quickly, the top three things on your bucket list. Oh, <laughs> I have to cook lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what comes first to my mind. But uh, no, um, bucket list is um, one thing is I, I need to make a, 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 I need a holiday, but a holiday that's an educative holiday. It's not just for education. Uh, second thing is I have some major changes that I have to make in the house to make life easy for everybody. And I think the third thing is um, I think I need to get in touch with friends which I have uh, not been doing for a long time. Okay. Okay. Your role model? My mother. If you woke up as the following people, what is the one thing that you would do? Minister of Art and Culture. <laughs> um, I think I would, uh, I would uh, try to have something which would, uh, some mechanism, that would work towards the economic stability of artists in Goa, especially folk artists. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a footballer? Go and, and go and do my warm-up, so whatever, exercise for the day. <laughs> okay. As Amalia. Amalia? Amalia, yes. Oh, I think I would I would ask everybody to organize a father concert in Goa because now there are a lot of people following father in Goa. So it's time high time that Amalia has a concert in Goa. Definitely. And me. Uh, you. Ah. <laughs> Very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> you, got, you got a lot also in your hands. <laughs> okay, one talent you are secretly proud of? Um, stitching. <laughs> okay. React to one word of the for the following. Okay. Traveling. One word. Heaven. Singing. <laughs> Paradise. <laughs> Family. Most important. Kitchen. 
um, over time. <laughs> okay, if you were not what you are doing right now, what would you have done? I probably would be teaching, I Te either law or something else. I would be teaching. Teaching is the thing, but <laughs> yeah. okay. So, uh, well, uh, I think you did an amazing job in the first rapid fire round of yours. And uh, right now, what uh, I want you to do is, I want you to give a particular message to all our audience watching this particular program about mm -hmm. uh, anything that you would like to share to them. Any particular message? Go ahead. Um. Well, because of the situation we are in and uh, the times that we're living through, um, one message is this will also pass. So hold on, hang on. Uh, I know it can get quite depressing at times, but um, it'll pass. We'll get through it. We might have to modify our lives. We might have to change certain things. And I think we're capable of doing that. Um, and most importantly, uh, try to sit back and understand what lessons we're learning through the situation and remember those lessons because we have a lot of uh, we have a very um, common um, mistake that we do okay. we learn something <laughs> and then we forget something so no remember what lessons we've learned now and and uh, memorize them fix them yeah that's all i would say and just chill as much as possible stay safe of course be uh, follow all the precautions and everything but remember this will pass and life will be beautiful again yes thank you so much sonia for taking time off yes. and talking to us it was great having you finally on our show <laughs> <laughs> thank you alicia my pleasure my pleasure well, on that note, uh, we come to the end of this particular episode. Keep watching Prime TV. Keep watching your favorite show, Gems of Goa. We will be back with another one shortly. Stay tuned.